Jake Gyllenhaal began his career as a child actor in the early 90s comedy hit City Slickers, before moving on to bigger roles as a teenager in films like October Sky and the cult classic Donnie Darko. From there, he transitioned into becoming one of Hollywood's most in-demand actors and well-known leading men. Today, Jake is worth an estimated $80 million and over the past few years, he's been living in a New York City condo building that's often been described as not only paparazzi proof, but also referred to as the dorm of the rich and famous. Prior to moving to the Big Apple, Jake had been living in Los Angeles for nearly a decade in a small but stylish place that he'd later put on the market and reap a tasty profit from. In this video, we'll be checking out these impressive spots where the actor calls home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today, seeing the properties of Jake Gyllenhaal. Why did Jake make the move from the West Coast to the East Coast? And who is he rumored to be shacking up with now? Well, today you're gonna get those answers and more. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. Back in 2005, Jake Gyllenhaal was having himself a year. Not only had he just finished starring in the blockbuster The Day After Tomorrow, but he'd also wind up nominated for an Academy Award in the category of Best Supporting Actor for his performance in Ang Lee's Brokeback Mountain. Recognizing that he was on the fast track to success, Jake settled into Hollywood and picked himself up a place to call home as his career exploded. He found his potential dream house in a neighborhood known as Hollywood Hills, of course, an area flush with the homes of other stars like Julianne Hough and Jack Huston. Jake would pay $2.5 million for this ranch style abode that sits on two acres of land in a gated compound with two bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and just under 3,000 square feet of space. The home also hosts a series of other attractive features like a camera equipped security system, as well as a gigantic great room that's fashioned out of classic high beam ceilings. Then there's the office area and media lounge with all the built-in necessities that promise that highest quality in both picture and sound that a movie lover like Jake no doubt demands. Outside there's not only a separate detached office space that could be turned into a guest room, there's also a teardrop shaped swimming pool and cabana, alongside numerous outdoor lounge and terrace areas. All of these entertainment spaces out here provide remarkable panoramic views of the nearby canyon and the mountains. As one of Hollywood's most eligible bachelors, Jake lived in this home for nearly 10 years, all by his lonesome, up until 2014 and the release of the movie that features one of my favorite roles of his, Nightcrawler. Seriously, if you've never seen Jake in that film, then you haven't seen him at his best. So creepy. After blowing critics away with his performance in that picture, Jake put his Hollywood Hills home on the market, eventually selling the property for $3.5 million and earning a cool $1 million profit in the process. Then, Jake packed up his belongings and moved to the opposite coast. As someone who's been part of the Hollywood ecosystem for so long, Jake knows all too well about the invasion of privacy that comes along with the territory of being celebrity. That's probably why he's so good at avoiding the normal pitfalls most famous people fall into when they allow the media to control the narrative of their careers. Compared to most, Jake's name doesn't pop up as tabloid fodder all that often. A big part of that, especially over recent years, might have to do with the fact that he moved into 443 Greenwich Street in New York City. This spot, well, it's built as a paparazzi-proof building, a haven for celebrities of all types. It's a marketing tactic that's really paid off, and over the years, if you watch this channel, you've no doubt seen this building. The likes of Justin Timberlake, Ryan Reynolds, Harry Styles, Lewis Hamilton, and many, many more have called this former factory converted into a Tribeca condo space home. Now, you can add Jake to that list. After he picked out an apartment all on his own and paid $8.6 million in the process. 
Often referred to as the dorm of the rich and famous, Jake's building was first built in 1882 as a book bindery. In the early 2000s, the building was vacated and about 10 years later, totally renovated into a series of 53 condos, including 45 loft style homes and eight penthouse suites. Prices for each unit range from around $8 million up to $44 million for the penthouses. Jake's own pad is one of the loft style homes and it's located on the fifth floor with over 3,000 square feet of space, which is already bigger than his entire home back in LA. This place also features an extra bedroom and bathroom compared to his former residence, coming in at three apiece. When the building was converted into a living space, the exposed beams were kept around to help cultivate a trendy rustic look. Meanwhile, the majority of the condos feature an open floor plan with hardwood floors and wooden arch windows that let in a ton of natural light from the New York City skyline. The full-sized primary bathroom is a work of art that features not only custom cabinets, but also a lot of luxurious materials like marble and glass. His kitchen houses all top-of-the-line stainless steel appliances that you would expect for the home of a celebrity, where a lot of the cooking is probably done by hired help. It also flows seamlessly into all the other living areas, allowing for an airy, spacious feel. In terms of building amenities, this place has all the bells and whistles you'd expect. Not only is there a 24-hour doorman and concierge, there's valet parking and a live-in resident manager. Plus, if you're looking to break a sweat, there's a fitness center with private studios, a Turkish spa room, and a gigantic 71-foot swimming pool. Oh, and did I mention the wine cellar, courtyard, and nearly 5,000 square foot landscaped roof terrace? Sounds like paradise, right? That might be why, over recent months, Jake has finally picked himself a roommate, his new girlfriend, IMG Worldwide supermodel, Jean Kaju. According to the Daily Mail, Jake and Jean first got together in December 2018. As I've been mentioning all along, Jake is notoriously private, so this relationship was kept under tight wraps for a while. In fact, these two are rarely seen out with one another at all. That being said, all reports suggest that they now live together in Jake's NYC condo, as the majority of Jean's modeling gigs take place in the Big Apple too. After dating more than two years, these two finally made things official in May of 2021, and just a few months ago, they were both seen out at their red carpet debut for The Lost Daughter, which is directed by Jake's sister Maggie. In terms of what the future holds for these two, well, I don't want to get anyone's hopes up, but it could be a big thing. During a recent interview with Howard Stern, the shock DJ dropped a big question on Jake's lap, but man oh man was he ever ready for it. That being said, Jean is not only a supermodel, but also only 25 years old. By my count, that gives her at least a few more years to book in as many gigs as she can, so that baby, well, it might have to hold off a little bit longer. Unless Jake can be persuasive, and something tells me Jake can be very persuasive. All right, guys, that's going to bring this Jake Gyllenhaal house tour to an end for today. After seeing his former Los Angeles home and his current fancy loft-like apartment in New York City, which did you prefer? I mean, they're basically opposites, so you've got to have a type. I like them both, but I think I'll pick the Los Angeles spot. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Jake's homes in the comments down below, or tell me which celebrity homes you would love to see next on here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.